tight knit community in Laguna Beach is in shock tonight after one of their own is found dead in an alley behind an old movie theater. The body of 27 year old Tatum Goodwin was found by a construction worker. Police say her body showed trauma consistent with a homicide. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade is in Laguna Beach tonight where she spoke with friends and co-workers of that young woman. Mary Beth. Mike and Chair, police are calling this a senseless act of violence. They say that detectives are working diligently to try to bring the suspect or suspects to justice. Meantime, many in this downtown community are still in disbelief over what's happened. She was just such a loving, like, honest person. I, you, you just wouldn't think that this would come from her. Like anything would happen to her. Many in Laguna Beach still in shock. A young, pretty and popular member of the community, Tatum Goodwin, was found dead in the downtown area Sunday morning by a construction crew. Everyone knew her as just a kind girl that was around, you know, kind of a face of the community, not from here, lived in San Clemente, worked here actually at Carmelita's. The owner of Carmelita's, Marcus Heredia, says she was a valued member of his team for more than four years, working as an assistant manager. She definitely did not deserve it. Just a beautiful person and uh, it's affected not only me, it affected so much of our team. Marcus tells us Tatum's badly beaten body was found in an alleyway behind his restaurant near Ocean Boulevard and Broadway. Uh, for me, it wasn't just losing a friend, it's clearly almost losing a family member. I knew that she always had my back and I always had her back also when she needed things. Friends tell us after work on Saturday, she went to nearby Hennessy's Tavern. Hennessy's posted a social media request looking for any pictures or videos from that night. I left and Tatum said she's going to go over to Hennessy's or Marine Room. Meantime, Marcus has started a GoFundMe page to help the family with funeral costs and to create a mural of Tatum. I'm trying to gather uh, some funds so we can get a mural made of her back in the area where her tragedy had happened. So not so no one in this city will ever forget about uh, about Tatum. And there is a link to that GoFundMe page on our website, KTLA.com. We should also mention that her friends in San Clemente are planning a candlelight vigil for Wednesday evening at the pier there. For now, in Laguna Beach, Mary Beth McDay, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.